All right. Yeah. Go, college football. Yeah, we're in hell. You want to go first? You want me to go first? Uh, look, one thing I'm not going to do, and I was talking to, actually, I was talking to Sherm about this last week. It is so fucking easy to hit the panic button and call for people's heads because that is what I feel like some Husker fans are doing. They're so insanely pissed what? off. And here's the here's the empathy, the only empathy I kind of have with them because it's the last two decades, the last 20 years, when there's a moment to where we have a chance to get over the hump, whether we're a ranked team, whether we are have a winning season going on, whether we're losing and have an opportunity like Nebraska did, we do have this style about us to where we have an embarrassing loss. So I do empathize with that part. But as far as compartmentalizing and speaking on just this season and just this game, yes, you do not want to lose 56-7. to seven, But I swear to God, and I'm going to start grinning, but I, I, I believe it to my core. This 56-7 to seven score is way worse than what the film shows. We did not play well. We did not make any, we did not make the plays we needed to make. But we went on long drives. We went on three 10 plus drives where we only came away total with seven points. The run defense was, it was disappointing to watch because they are a defense who holds themselves to a very high standard and they usually, for the most part, play well. But their gap integrity was off. They were the Indiana, and by the way, shout out the Indiana football team. They played better than us. Yeah, club. they were. Signetti has those boys rolling. They whooped our fucking ass. But if I'm just talking about the Huskers, if I'm just talking about Husker football, that ass whooping, I swear to God, is not as bad as what, how the score looks. We just didn't finish drives. Dylan had a couple picks that sucked, but we have a quarterback. We can, listen, we can run the football. We can do all the different things. Oh, we got Bert here. Hang on, Bert. Hold on, Bert. We can come back after this. Bro. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Let's I'm just, with you. let's knock it. This isn't, let's, let's knock this out. Yeah. Um, I have optimism. I said it about the Titans. The problem is in that building. We also have the answer in that building. We have the players. We have the coaching staff. We have the guys to get this thing right, get this thing going. It sucks that we we played as bad as we did, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we were driving the ball. We didn't get off the field when we needed to. You know, when when, when they go up, I want to say 7-0 or maybe 14-0, we have a solid drive. It ends. We're going for it on fourth down. We would have got the we would have got the conversion. We fumbled the ball and give it back to him. Uh, coming out of the third quarter, we put together a 14-15 play drive. Dylan ends up throwing it right behind the tight end. Safety makes an incredible play coming across the field and ends up picking it off, almost takes it back for a pick six. So we just we put ourselves in bad situations. Then the next time we come out, we have another interception where we don't pick up protection. Dylan tries to make, he wants to try and make a play, ends up throwing it to the other team. You just have a bad play. But I'm telling you, we were putting drives together. We did a very poor job blocking on the perimeter where plays are there. Calls were calls were made where we are in position to make the play. We just don't make the play. So it's it's cleaning up how we're blocking on the perimeter. It's being gap sound in the run defense. We knew we'd have a problem with Indiana. They're a very good offense. They can move the football. We did have sticky coverage, and the quarterbacks, both quarterbacks, were just making plays, and the receivers were making plays. That just what that, sometimes that that is the way the game do, goes. We had a very bad game. We did not show up ready to play. I know rules talked about. He's taking all the accountability in the world. He's he's embarrassed. He hates it, but I'm telling you, it, this isn't, we are not dead. We are not dead. Fucking put the cheese out, set the traps. We can go into Ohio State. We can win this game. We can win. The, like I say that because I know everybody else is going to laugh at it, but I, I, I swear to God, I swear to God, that score was not, it, it, we are not on life support. We are not on life support. No one's laughing at that. It, I know, but everybody like you know, I do this. I do the thing where I come out. I'm like, we're gonna beat their ass. Take your bread and pork loin and shove it up your ass because the Oscars are coming. Everybody's coming after me. I got players DMing me. I got fans from Indiana DMing me. I got Buck Rising texting me. I know how this shit looks because I am the most optimistic Huskers fan. But I swear, I I, I only got to watch one quarter because we were at our meet and greet out at Tennessee. We didn't get to watch the last three quarters of the Husker game. I watched it yesterday on Sunday. I watched the entire game. I'm stopping. I'm rewinding. I'm going to it. I'm looking at the gap sound. I'm looking at the play calls we have going we're driving on offense we just make we made 
We didn't execute when we needed to execute. And I, I, I swear, the way the game went, that game couldn't, wouldn't have been as bad as it was, but you listen to rule, Dylan wanted to keep going out there. They, they wanted to still fire. They wanted to still throw the ball. They wanted to still try and make it come back. And it just didn't work out that way. It yeah, didn't work out that way. You get towards the end of the game, you start pressing a little too hard. Things just don't go your right. way. That stuff people happens. are saying that we laid down, we quit. That didn't fucking happen. That did not fucking happen. No, no, no. No one, and the people that are saying that are delusional Husker fans. If Husker fans are over there calling for rules head and calling for the, the other personnel to get the fuck out of there, they are the wrong Husker fans right now to be in that seat. They are. Now, everybody has bad games. Nebraska Cornhuskers is a good fucking ball club. All right? Now, Indiana is a lot better than we all expected. We knew going into that game that Indiana was awesome. They have a whole, a whole bunch of transfers that came from SEC schools, ACC schools, to, uh, the conference formerly known as the Pac-12 schools. They have had a lot of guys in Spagnetti. Is that his name? Signetti. Signetti. Signetti has done an amazing job of in the transfer portal, not looking at names, but looking at productivity. He has done an awesome job of turning that program around. The, the Cornhuskers had a bad day. We it, had a bad it, day. It is, it is what it is. But if you're a Huskers fan and you are now waving the white flag halfway through the season, well, then the, the shame should be on you because that's a good ball club over there in Lincoln, Nebraska. And they got an opportunity against the, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Yeah. Ohio State had a devastating loss in Eugene, Oregon a week ago. Have a whole bye week to live in and feel that whole time. Two things can happen out of that. You can now go and think, okay, we're going to, we're going to, you know, go scorched earth on everybody or doubt starts to creep in a little bit. Now the 12, 13 million dollars you spent in NIL, that money's feeling a whole lot better than the actual culture. I'm saying it's a coin flip 50, 50 between Nebraska corn Huskers and the Ohio state Buckeyes this coming weekend. And, and if you are one of those Husker fans, fuck you. Fuck you. I told I Sherm, what did I tell you last week? The way you were talking about Baylor. I'm like, no bro, you don't get it. It is so goddamn easy to lose your shit. Start pointing the finger, doing everything else other than be like, Hey, we're in the fucking trenches right now. We're low right now, but there's no time to bleed because we're going to Ohio State and we got to muster something together. <laughs> the problem is here. The answer is in here. I swear to God. Right. And fuck those Husker fans, fuck dude. Those not, not, fans. not 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 all not of them. You guys know I, you guys know I don't feel that way. You guys know what I'm talking about. Also, could you please clip Will saying "fuck you, Husker fans" just for my own personal socials? Thank you. Now, Michigan. We got a lot of problems, boys. We got some issues going on here. We ain't in this situation. Okay. We get so much. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. We, get so, we got we got a quarterback. Yeah. 